Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. We sincerely hope that you are having a wonderful day. If you enjoyed today's presentation and find it informative, please feel free to subscribe to this channel, like the video, and share the content. Today's video subject, why do cats like to sit on top of things? Within the feline world, the name of the game is quite simple. It's all about food, water, shelter, and security. While you can word it however you'd like, that is the gist of it. And in its most raw form, with everything stripped away, cats are searching for most of the same things that we are. When it comes to your cat and your belongings, whether we're talking about your clothes, books, phone, computer, notepad, folders, everything in between, your stuff is an extension of not only who you are, but what you bring to your cat's life. The stronger the bond, the more your items will mean to your pet. Your objects, in their very own way, play to the heart of your cat's core essential needs. Your cat will sit, rest, relax, and even sleep on your belongings for the following reasons. If your cat enjoys resting on your shoes or clothes, for example, they could be doing this because your personal items make them feel safe and secure. Here again, what you wear is an extension of who you are. If your pet feels safe in your arms or on your lap, they'll seek to find this same form of security, if possible, in a pile of dirty clothes or shoes that have been placed near your bed. Cats are all about scent. Your pet likely knows how you smell more than anyone else in your life. Your scent is your calling card. With respect to your pet's behavior, if your cat has a very special bond with you, they'll seek out your scent in most anything they can find, especially when you're physically not around for an extended period of time, a vacation, business trip, what have you. Your scent can bring your pet great peace, mental and emotional ease. While it's true that these core four reasons, especially the first three, are only marginally different as they essentially feed directly off each other, let's talk about comfort. Not the comfort of security, not the comfort of scent, although they certainly play a huge role, but what about actual comfort in the most literal and physical sense? Your clothes are comforting. They make for a nice resting spot, a good sitting spot, and that laptop, hmm, if you close it, the lid is nice and warm, would you sleep on a laptop if you were small enough? Sure you would. Don't even lie. I see you don't even lie. So never underestimate the actual comfort that your cat can find in and on certain belongings. And finally, let's talk about territory. This one differs from the first three quite a bit. Cats are all about staking their claim. Anything they deem as property they have to mark, no matter what it is. If your cat is resting, relaxing, and or sleeping on your stuff, here again, regardless of what it is, there's a strong chance that this action is not only being taken for the previous reasons noted, but to make sure others within the home understand the boundaries. This is especially true if you have other pets within your house. If a pile of your clothes serves as the promise of safety, the scent of trust, and the comfort of peace, that's not to be shared or lost. So. Get your own piece, Garfield. This is my piece. Yes, indeed, in the same way that cats rub their scent glands on people to stake claim, they'll also do it on objects and items of value. If a feline enjoys something, whatever it is, they'll mark it. It's not uncommon for cats to become territorial over your very own stuff against you. How's that for a nasty curveball? That shirt that you love oh so much. You know, the one that your cat sleeps on from time to time? Give it some time. 
there's a reasonable chance that you won't even be able to get it back. So, do you know this story all too well? Does your cat sit, rest, and sleep on your personal items? What's the weirdest thing that your pet has claimed? Please let me know in the comments section below. And once again, feel free to like and share this video. And subscribe to the channel if this type of content is of interest to you. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you later.